God Why did the Viking Age in inequality relationships and Christianity? Let's travel back in time to one of the most violent and brutal periods in Europe and beyond. This was a time when Viking longboats carved with dragons would emerge from the mist and fighters would raid entire cities. No one was they safe from Viking attacks, but eventually this warrior culture disappeared. Where did they go? What happened to the Viking? Let's find out. They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. Before we dig into Viking past to discover what happened, it's important to note that many of the stories we have about the Vikings and their raids come from people who suffered their brutality. This means that these stories were written with a clear bias to try and create a full picture of the Vikings and what led to their downfall. We will use historical sources from both the Vikings and their victims. Along with archaeological evidence, by looking at the past through various sources, we can find out what actually caused the end of the Vikings. Unfortunately, this analysis is a major problem right from the start. Before going any further, we must discuss who the Vikings were. When we use the term Viking, we are talking about a specific group of people from Scandinavia, which is now Sweden, Denmark, Finland and Norway. But not everyone in this region was a Viking. The origin of the word Viking is unknown. It may have come from the Old Norse word Viking, which means pirate or raider. However, the name Viking only seemed to come into existence sometime between the 12th and 14th centuries. Many scholars believe that term Viking may have come from an even earlier old Scandinavian word used during the time of the Vikings. Regardless, we do know that Vikings were a specific group of Scandinavian people who thrived from about 790 CE to 1100 CE. Vikings were both men and women who left their homelands to raid towns and cities across Europe. Regardless of where the term Viking came from, it is important to understand that not everyone in Scandinavia was a Viking. Instead, only the warriors and raiders who left the peninsula to attack communities along the coast and river of Europe and as far away as Russia and Constantinople were considered Vikings. Most Scandinavians were farmers, carpenters, or did other work that helped society. The Viking Age lasted from about 790 CE to 1100 CE. So this will be the time frame we will focus on knowing this. Let's now look into the history of the Vikings and examine some of their most deadly raids. We will gather evidence along the way to find out how inequality, the integration of communities through mixing people and Christianity led to the end of the Vikings. There is evidence that sometime around 4000 and 2300 BCE, a thriving culture had developed in Scandinavia. Archaeologists have found depiction of ships in stone, barrels and metal tools and weapons. However, it would still be thousands of years before the raider known as Viking would come to be. The first major step toward the Viking Age was the invention of ships in the style of the Nidam board named after Nidam Bog. Where it was found by archaeologists, these ships allowed the Scandinavian people to travel long distance over rough sea. It is generally agreed that the Viking Age began around 790 CE 
This is because at this point we have written documents and historical evidence that Scandinavian warriors also known as Norsemen and who would later be known as Vikings sailed across the North Sea and landed in Wessex. These rugged looking men were greeted by a messenger whom they killed. The Norsemen had no desire to exchange ideas and culture. They were in England for one reason, to raid. On June 8, 793, the Vikings attacked Cuthbert Church at Lindisfarne in Northumbria, England ever since Christianity spread across Europe. It was generally accepted by warning armies that churches and religious institutions were to be left alone. This was because regardless of the holy building's territory, they all belonged to the same God. The pillaging of church held land and structures happened occasionally but it would almost certainly condemn the souls of those who did so to hell, which was a major deterrent for many. On the other hand, the Viking didn't care about the Christian God or the institution set up to worship him. This was why Cuthbert Church was raided and the people inside slaughtered or taken as slaves. The survivor of this Viking raid recorded the event in the Doomsday Stone which became one of the first account of a Viking raid in history. However, as time went on, Christianity would infiltrate Scandinavia, and one of the major factors that led to the end of the Vikings would take hold. In the beginning, the Vikings had no desire to conquer land and claim it as their own. The only goal was to hit a location hard and fast and to return home with ships full of loot and slaves. In the coming years and decades, the Viking would continue targeting the British Isles before focusing on the continent, Frankia. Our modern day France and Germany was ripe for pillaging as the kingdom experiencing internal turmoil after paying ransom to the Viking for the release of prisoners and entire towns. Sholemon launched an aggressive campaign to try and spread Christianity to the Scandinavian in hopes of minimizing the constant threat of raids. He organized military campaigns to destroy sacred north sites and subdue the heathens who terrorized his lands. God's hands now. <laughs> My son, my kingdom is bare, we must build, we must become learned, we must have pride, Anarud, you will lead our kingdom to greatness. And all will know Cymru. Unfortunately, this aggression and post spreading of Christianity only seemed to anger the Norsemen and increase Viking activity. Whether these new sets of brutal raids were out of revenge or to take advantage of Frank's misplaced military forces is unclear. Charlemagne into the lands of the Viking did not have the desired outcome and very few Scandinavians converted to Christianity during this time. It is worth nothing that this was the first time their religion had been introduced into Scandinavia in a meaningful way. Even though very few Norsemen were Christianized somewhere and this would set up foundation for the change in ideology when power in the region was consolidated. In 836, the Vikings launched an enormous raid across the North Sea, past England and into Ireland. The Vikings' attack on Clonmore, Ireland was the first deep territorial expedition, during which the Vikings took a huge number of prisoners solely to be sold into slavery 
untold number of Irish people were captured and brought back to the Viking trade ports where they were sold across Scandinavia. In 841, the Vikings founded Dublin, one of their first major permanent settlements outside of their own realm. I pray the spirits guide you. While Ireland was being ravaged by the Vikings, a chieftain by the name of Ragnar Lodbrok set his sight on Paris. If he could take the city, his raiding party would secure untold wealth. Ragnar recruited thousands of men and launched 120 ships that would sail up the sign. The Frankish king, Charles the Bald, tried to gather an army to pen off the onslaught of Vikings racing toward the city. When the Frankish soldiers met the Vikings in battle, half of their army was immediately slaughtered, and the remaining soldiers quickly retreated. By Easter of 845, the Vikings had entered the city. They took anything and everything they wanted. As there was no one to stop them, the Vikings occupied the city and held it for ransom. Charles was forced to pay 7,000 French livers are about 2,570 kg of gold and silvers to get the Vikings to leave Paris and return home. There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. Your army will never take Paris and you will never have peace. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming. I embrace you, demon. In 850, the Viking raids around Europe began to pick up in intensity. More Viking settlements were also being established in Ireland. For the first time, a major Viking force remained in England through the winter. The Vikings even began to establish footholds further south and east at Westkaiten in what would become Germany, where over 500 Viking barrel mounds would be constructed. Following year, practically even kingdom in England Menas Wessex was raided by Vikings. During this time, the Norsemen conquered East Anglia, Northumberland, and Mercia. <laughs> by 844, the Vikings had extended their raids as far as Seville in what would become Spain. At that point, this part of Europe was under Arab control. The Viking proceeded into Mediterranean, where new lands were ripe for raiding. However, being so far from home, that the voyages were long and dangerous. In 859, while Viking raiding parties covered the Mediterranean coast, an Arab fleet descended upon them, destroying many of their ships. The Viking were pushed out of the region and would never return as their way of life was under threat from both external and internal forces that would cause their culture to collapse in the coming centuries. Is unacceptable. Give us an emperor from humble beginnings. Give us a leader our armies will follow. While some Vikings traveled along the western coast of Europe to reach the Mediterranean, other groups sailed along the rivers and led them to Eastern Europe and Russia. This was likely where Vikings first encountered the Rurik dynasty. This family, who were likely Norsemen or had a connection to them, was believed to have founded the Kingdom of Russia. However, the Rurik kids were a Slavic people who came to power when many Vikings began to settle along the Russian rivers. These waterways made 
trade between Europe and Asia possible. Build and enhance your village and make it prosperous. When the Vikings were not trading new lands, they were sitting along the coast of Greenland and North America. Around 985 CE, Eric the Red established a colony on Greenland after being banished from Iceland. In 1001 CE, Leif Erikson founded Vinland in New Pounded Land, Canada. This was the first settlement established in North America and it happened 500 years before Christopher Columbus set foot on the continent. In 865, the Viking chieftains Hobden Ragnarsons and Ivor the Boneless led a massive invasion into England. A large army and numerous ships set out for conquest rather than raiding. This force was so large that it became known as the Great Heathen Army. By 866, the Viking army had captured York and claimed Northumberland as their own for the next several years. The army raided a tag and captured large land in England. The one kingdom they could not conquer was Wessex. By 1100, the Viking Age had come to an end. The Norsemen had largely converted to Christianity and no longer identified with the raiders and warriors of their ancestors. With Castel, the landscape of Europe and Viking society mixing with other cultures, raiding was no longer a way of life. Therefore, the Viking Age came to an end. Although Viking warriors and raiders no longer existed, Norse culture and history continue in Scandinavia and eventually spread across Europe and into Russia. There were several factors that led to the end of the Vikings. These include the spread of Christianity, the establishment of walled fortresses across Europe, and the integration of Norsemen into other societies through mixing culture. It's easy to forget that this warlike culture was also responsible for establishing settlements in Greenland and the New World. The Vikings sailed further than most people could have imagined during their time. This is what makes them one of the most successful cultures in history. And so ends the story of the Vikings and their journey across Europe and beyond.